step to Christ, consecration. In giving ourselves to God, we must necessarily give up all that would separate us from Him. Hence the Savior says, Whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. Luke 14 verse 33 Whatever shall draw away the heart from God must be given up. Mammon is the idol of many. The love of money, the desire for wealth, is the golden chain that binds them to Satan. Reputation and worldly honor are worshipped by another class. The life of selfish ease and freedom from responsibility is the idol of others. But these slavish bands must be broken. We cannot be half the Lord's and half the world's. We are not God's children unless we are such entirely. There are those who profess to serve God while they rely upon their own efforts to obey His law to form a right character and secure salvation. Their hearts are not moved by any deep sense of the love of Christ, but these seek to perform the duties of the Christian life as that which God requires of them in order to gain heaven. Such religion is worth nothing. When Christ dwells in the heart, the soul will be filled with his love, with the joy of communion with him, that it will cleave to him, and in the contemplation of him, self will be forgotten. Love to Christ will be the spring of action. Those who feel the constraining love of God do not ask how little may be given to meet the requirements of God. They do not ask for the lowest standard, but aim at perfect conformity to the will of their Redeemer. With earnest desire, they yield all and manifest an interest proportionate to the value of the object which they seek. A profession of Christ without this deep love is mere talk, dry formality, and heavy drudgery. Step to Christ, page 44.